Good morning, I'm Jitzel Puente with two works for you. Here are today's top stories. New this morning, a jury has found a former Broken Arrow teacher not guilty of lewd molestation. The Tulsa District Attorney's Office confirmed that the jury spent about 10 hours deliberating and around midnight, their verdict came in. They found 55-year-old Edward Hodge not guilty for allegedly touching female students inappropriately. The victims in this case were between 10 and 12 years old. Now, Hodge was arrested in 2018 and had been out on bond. And we're learning new details about an overnight garage fire that left someone without a home. Fire crews responded to a home in East Tulsa on East 29th Place and South 93rd East Avenue. When they arrived, they found a garage up in flames, you can see there. After about 20 minutes, though, they were able to get the fire under control, but it left heavy damage to the roof. At this time, they believe the cause of the fire was due to electrical problems in the garage. A 20-year-old man is in critical condition right now after being shot in the head. Police responded to the call on South Jackson Avenue near West 23rd Street last night. They found the victim and rushed him to the hospital. Just half an hour later, another 20-year-old man showed up at a local hospital after being shot in the arm. At this time, police believe both incidents are related and they continue to investigate what led to this shooting. Now let's get a check of today's forecast with meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. And Kerrigan, it is National Walking Your Dog Day. For this afternoon, partly cloudy skies with those temperatures warming up into the upper 50s. Winds a little breezy out of the south could see gusts up to 20 miles per hour. As we head into the overnight hours and into your Sunday, seeing that increased chance for rain then widespread rainfall by your Sunday morning and into your Sunday afternoon. Now as we head into the evening hours, we do have that low pressure system off to our west that will be tracking just to the north of us here in green country, bringing additional chances for rainfall during the overnight hours and the chance for a few rumbles of thunder as well. Now, as we go throughout your Monday, seeing cloud cover to start the day off with a couple of light showers, then just mostly cloudy throughout the rest of the afternoon. Heading into Tuesday, slight chance for rain and then much, much cooler as we head into your Wednesday as those high temperatures will struggle to hit the 40 degree mark, clearing up by Thursday and Friday. All right. Thank you, Kerrigan. That was our digital update. Keep checking for more updates throughout the day.